let's talk about core function and its relation to muscle tightness and the role in sciatica pain. Usually when you're dealing with sciatica pain, you're gonna be experiencing some tightness in different parts of your body, whether it be in your hip flexors, your back, your hamstrings, or your butt. And muscles will get tight for a couple different reasons. The first reason is going to be what we call an adaptively shortened position. So what that means is, say for example, if you have a truly tight piriformis, you are unable to rotate your hips just because your hips haven't been rotated, your piriformis is in fact very tight and it can actually be pressing on the nerve itself causing irritation. The other option is that the muscles have adaptively lengthened. So when a muscle is stretched for a long period of time, it will be perceptually tight and as you try to move around. And the reason why it feels perceptually tight is because it's just trying to protect that muscle, ensuring that doesn't lengthen even more. And another example would be if your piriformis was in fact in a lengthened position. And you can tell that your piriformis is a lengthened position because of the fact that you're actually able to move your hip and rotate your hip with no problem. And that standing actually causes a lot of your pain. The third reason as to why you're gonna be experiencing tightness in your other areas of your body, specifically like the piriformis and the hip flexors, is due to the fact that we are limited in our ability to control the core. And what that looks like is the following. I want you to imagine that your core is going to be a cylinder of tension. So you have your front abs, you have your obliques, you have your low back muscles, but then you also have your diaphragm and your pelvic floor. The thing is, is that we need to ensure that we're able to sufficiently contract all areas of our core, which allows our hips to do its job, which is being extremely mobile. However, if we fail to create tension in the front of our abs, or if we create too much tension in our back, or if we don't have the control of being able to descend and ascend both our diaphragm and our pelvic floor, that tension needs to be placed somewhere else. And oftentimes, if we're not able to create tension here when necessary, that tension has to be generated somewhere else. More often than not, that tension will be made up right here in our glutes and our hip flexors as well. Because of the fact that if we're not holding on to this tension, if I'm kind of just chilling out like this, my ribs are flared out, my abs are kind of just relaxed, my hip flexors have to stay contracted to ensure that I don't fall over. Also, my butt and my specifically my piriformis is contracted to ensure that I don't fall over either. So how do we fix that? The way that we fix it is to actually help establish control of our midline, the area between your shoulders and your hips to be able to engage it. It can be something as simple as taking that rib cage and pulling your rib cage down. As you can see, everything actually evens out. It could also be something along the lines of tucking your pelvis underneath your shoulders as well, but a little less likely. The key to identifying where you need to address this is by looking at your posture. Where are you having those movement or positional deficits causing issues, which means that you'll be able to get a better idea of what things to implement in regards to your core program.